Right guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my 2022 draft day. Just in the nick of time. It's Thursday, tomorrow, uh, the first game of the regular season begins. And if I hadn't have done this, if I had have forgotten, which I almost did, I would have been really fucked off. So today's the day. We've got two and a half minutes to go until the first uh, pick is is um, on the clock, you could say. Two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes are the best. Uh, the way that I'm doing this is basically the way that I do anything. There's no preparation. I just open the computer, logged in, first draft that was available, three o'clock, my time, uh, Thursday, September 8th. So, I'm looking forward to it, man. I, I, I don't even know what... Uh, what order I'm in, I, I, I feel as if uh, this this is the running order, which means I could well have the second pick, and I honestly have no idea who I'm going to take. So, the other thing is that last year I used the NFL.com website, this year I'm using the ESPN website, and the only reason I've done that is because ESPN have a draft that is today. If, uh, if I was on the NFL website, I'd have to wait until tomorrow, and as you know, there's no guarantees around here. Look, I'm, I might have even forgotten. So I thought, you know what? I'm sitting down. I'm doing it. We've got a minute 40 to go. Uh, I need to get a team in, and I can't wait to play. I really enjoyed it last year. It was the first the first year, the first season that I'd actually um, followed it through. And, um, you know, there were some heartbreaking losses, I must admit, but there were some, some, uh, some really exciting wins as well. And, you know, it's just a... It's just something else to follow, you know, it's something else to, to get into, to get behind during the season. So, I've talked for far too long, I'm going to relax, I'm going to reduce the heart rate for the next 70 odd seconds and I'll see you at the start. Let's do it. Unfortunately, I don't, I, honestly, I don't have enough mates in person that like the NFL uh, to, to set up my own league. That would be, that would be so much more fun. But either way, I did say I was going to stop talking, but I'm not. It's uh, David Chomper, Jacob McDonald, Mike Brace, Jason Joseph, Rob Henson, Angel Walker, Hady Alfaro, Anthony Smith, Lionheart, Anthony Smith, Eloy Quintana, and Thomas Ridley. So I guess all I can hope for is that each and every one of those players is here currently. And we don't have any, you know, automated picks. That's all I'm hoping for. We've got 15 seconds to go. I don't even know what the interface is going to be like. So, uh, yeah, it should be, uh, should be interesting. I, I feel like we've got three minutes per pick, and that, that's, that's more than enough. So let's, let's, let's get into it. Well, we the draft room is now open. Let's go. You gotta love it, don't you? You gotta love it. It's the first time I've seen, seen this sort of. Um, well, it's relatively the same, isn't it? Your draft is about to start. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna increase the uh, increase that. Actually, oh, I'm feeling a, li a little bit out of depth out of my depth here, guys. I don't know where to click. I don't know what to look for. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Positions projected. No, we don't want that. All NFL teams. Okay. Show drafted. No, we don't want drafted picks. No, because then that would just confuse the shit out of me. So, let's see what happens. What I can tell you is that they've given us an extra three minutes to get ready. Uh, what I can also tell you is that I'm pick number four. So that, you know, takes takes away the likes of, I guess, McCaffrey. Um, Austin Eckler is a name that I I wasn't aware of, but I, I have really taken a liking to him, especially for the fact that he's been in the league for like five seasons. And he's already got 3,000 receiving yards and 3,000 rushing yards. So he's a, he's a dual threat... Um, you know, uh, what have we got here? What have we got? So Jonathan Taylor is predicted to score the most points in the entire league. All right, so who's got to buy week one? Because you really don't, you don't want to, you know, double down on, on a player that's going to be out week one. Or maybe you do, who knows? It looks like no one has a buy in week one. Would that be, would that be right? Literally not a single player has a buy in week one. All right, guys. Okay. Now, last year, I went with my favorites. This year, I may do the same, but you don't know. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. you got two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end QB, a flex player, uh, and then you've got 
bench players. And I'm I'm not completely sure if you actually pick up bench players during the draft. I can't remember. I, f I feel like you probably do. Yeah, I feel like you probably do. But they are saying, you, okay, so there's a maximum of eight running backs, a maximum of eight wide, wide receivers, a maximum of three tight ends, a maximum of four quarterbacks, a maximum of three kickers. Don't know why you get any more than one, to be fair. And of course, you've got the bye week, but you've got the waiver and, and the... the, 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 the yeah, look, I still don't know how the waiver works completely, but we are on the clock. Pick number one. Pick number one. Oh, it's only 90 seconds. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. But it's okay. Come on, Alfaro, you must know who you're going to take. Please. Oh, you're not going to... You're not going to time out on the very first pick, are you? Oh, he hasn't. Here we go. Pick number two. What? Oh, he's taken Jonathan Taylor. You bastard. You bastard. Who am I going to pick? Who the fuck am I going to pick? <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll just keep them ranked uh, by their projected numbers. I mean, that would be smart, right? That would be smart. If he doesn't pick Christian McCaffrey, he's got a problem. He's got a real problem. Because I'm going to pick him. Tick tock goes the clock. Team brace. Come on, mate. Don't keep me waiting. Come on, mate. For fuck's sake. Oh, no. I can actually see. I can see here. Three of our members of the um, of the draft have elected to go auto-pick. Okay. That sucks. But I'm sure they'll be here throughout the season. So let's go. Who did he pick? Oh, he's... Ta well, come on, guys. I could have done that. For fuck's sake. Haven't you done your research? Don't you know the diamonds in the rough? What's he going to do? Cooper Cup? Well, fucking go on then. Do it. Oh, I'm on the clock. Here we go. Your auto pick would be Cooper Cup. So who did he get? Who who did he pick? Uh, show drafted. Who did he get? Who the f... Patrick Mahomes. Jeez, he's... Must be pretty confident in the big man. Um... I like Austin Eckler, I'm not going to lie. Like he's, I reckon he's going to really come come into his own this year. I wouldn't mind the quarterback from that team too, but what do you do? What do you do? Basically, everyone on this... Najee Harris, he's a, he's a real favourite of mine. And that's that's the thing. I, wanna, I do want to combine you know, their projected totals with the fact that I actually really enjoy seeing them play because I do want to I do wanna watch the, the majority of them play. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Najee Harris. Leonard Fournette's projected 18th most productive player. That's insane. Cooper Cup, would I be stupid not to take him? Would I be dumb not to take him? I probably would be. Najee Harris or Cooper Cup? I've got 15 seconds of the best. I mean, Derek Henry's going to be going to be a battering ram the whole entire season. But I'm going to go, you know what, I'm going to go Najee. Along the ground, through the air. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's all good. <laughs> the thing is, I hate I hate this shit. I really hate this shit. Or I at least hate putting it on camera. Because you guys are going to judge the shit out of me. You know what I mean? You're going to just... You're just going to judge the fucking shit out of me. But either way... Oh, so here's the picks. Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, Patrick Mahomes, Najee Harris. Our next man has gone auto with Cooper Cup. Okay. That seems... I feel cheated. I do feel cheated. I'm not going to lie. Someone picking up a player like that automatically? You know, get get the fuck out of here. But no, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a random draft. You don't know who's going to be in it. Jamar Chase. Austin Eckler is off the list. Justin Jefferson. Man, I, I don't like this. I don't like this auto shit, because they're just going to take the top guy from the list. And someone else might not have. That's bullshit. Either way, we continue. We continue. I've got a fair few picks until my next one. Pick number 17. Seven picks to go. And we've got three autos before me. So that means I, 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 can't, I can't have Dalvin Cook, I can't have Alvin Kamara, and I can't have Devontae Adams. But I can have Debo Samuel. And that's a player that I wouldn't mind having, to be fair. Tyreek Hill looks totally different in that um, neon fucking... What do you call that? 
what do you call that, teal? It's extremely bright, have a look at it. Extremely bright. What happens if we um if we zoom right in? Ah, it's okay. Well, actually, we'll go like that. Actually, what ha what have I? No projected points. So Josh Allen, I mean, okay. So the QBs are actually projected to to to, to score the most fantasy points. Okay, interesting. What was what was I? Well, maybe automatically picking is actually not as efficient as what I first thought. All right. Okay, interesting. Still doesn't mean I'm going to get Dalvin Cook, Devontae Adams. Well, I might get Debo, but anyway, let's go. We've actually got a, a human being on the clock who has picked. Actually, you know what? No, I know, I know how to do this. All right, so we're going to go show drafted players. All good, all good, all good. Right, I'm on the clock. What have we got? What have we here? Joe Mixon. DeAndre Swift. Do I get a quarterback? No, no. I need another skilled offensive player. And I'm going to go with... Oh, he's taken Debo Samuel, you fucking bastard. Excuse my language. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... And this was a similar pick to last year. I'm going to say Tyreek Hill is going to absolutely ball out... Uh, do I want Tyreek? Do I want a quarterback? No, I don't. We've got 45 seconds to go, guys. I'm going to go, and you've probably picked it already. I'm going to go with my man down here. Tyreek Hill! Two players I'm really going to enjoy watching this year. Najee Harris, Tyreek Hill. I feel okay about that. I feel okay. It's okay. It's all right, guys. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right? I'm good. <laughs> Everyone's got their own, like, certain strategies. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's fucking fun. It really is. It's a fun thing to be a part of. But, I mean, I've, I've, I've spread it relatively well. So, one running back, one wide receiver. I'm thinking, geez, do I need a quarterback? Do I need a quarterback? Let's have a look. Who's okay? So Patrick Mahomes being the only quarterback drafted. So at the end of the day, um, I guess you don't really draft a quarterback until what round three or four. So let's let's just see, let's just see what's up. Let's see what's up. I hope you don't mind my commentary, guys, because um, I'm here for it, and I hope you guys are too. Sixteen rounds. Sixteen rounds altogether. Is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Holy shit, there's 7 bench players. Alright, so this is, this is, we might be here for a while. We might be here for a while. I should probably look at who I want to um, go with next. Show drafted? Nah. I'm over that. Alright, what have we got? I wouldn't mind Mike Evans. I wouldn't mind Travis Kelsey. Trav Travis? Travis Kelsey? Yes. Not too bad. Not a bad option, I guess. I mean, you need one tight end. And I wouldn't mind having Travis Kelsey as my tight end, to be fair. Hmm. Wouldn't mind having Mike Evans in there either. Got him last year. Saquon Barkley's still on the clock. That's very interesting. That is extremely interesting. I want Saquon Barkley on my team. So let's see what's up. Nick Chubb? Oh, Nick Chubb. Oh, come on, mate. How is he still there? How is he still there? Anyway, I'm next. So uh, let's just uh, strap in and see who this guy wants to draft. Let's have a look here. Oh, Nick Chubb's gone. Uh, it's another automatic pick. You bastard. You bastard. Either way, I do have a tight end that's still on the clock. Someone went with Mark Andrews over, over um, Travis Kelsey, which is interesting. Someone picked up Aaron Jones, would you believe? Didn't even make the top 100 list. Come on, Chasers. What you gonna do? How many QBs? What do we got here? Okay, so someone's taken Allen and Herbert. Interesting. I want Tom Brady. <laughs> I want Tom Brady. I do. 
and I feel like if I leave him during round four, he's going to be taken. I want, uh, I want the big man. I, uh, I love the big man. Could be his final season in the league. Got 5,000 yards last year. Right. Jalen Hurts is off the board. Do I want Tom Brady or do I want... Uh, Travis Kelsey? Or do I want Mike Evans? Or Saquon Barkley? Okay, so if I go Tom Brady this round, maybe I can still pick up Saquon. Which will be okay. Because we've still got the likes of Darren Waller. Um, we've still got the likes of Kyle Pitts, I assume. Etc. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tom Brady. I want to pick this guy up. I love having Tom Brady in my team, and um, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, fuck you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Tom Brady. Yes, boy. Right. So Kelsey's gone. Unfortunately, Saquon Barkley's still there. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him real closely. Right in the eyes, actually. And he knows it. So what? Oh, so Travis Kelsey's mm, DeAndre Swift, Ceedee Lamb, Kenny Allen. Fuck, what? What predictable picks? I mean, seriously. What boring, predictable mofos we've got in this in this draft. Either way, Mike Evans and Saquon Barkley are still there. Come on, mate, leave him. Leave Saquon, please. Oh, we've got an auto pick next. We've got an auto pick next. They're going to take Saquon unless they've already got two running backs. That's fucked up. That is really just disappointing. Let's see what happens. They left him. They took Cam Akers. Why on earth would they have done that? Oh, you're joking. No, they have taken him. Oh, what a disappointment. What a real disappointment that is. That is... That is why you don't want automatic picks. Either way, I'm going to take the next... I'm going to... You know what? I'm not going to think about it too much. I wouldn't mind Kyle Pitts as my tight end. Who else have we got? Who else have we got in in, um, in the position of, of tight end? Only two have gone. Okay, so we've still got Kittle. We've still got... All right, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to the wide receivers, and I'm going to go with Jalen Waddle. And I'm going to have both Miami wide receivers on my team. And I feel... Oh, I've, DK Metcalf's still there. Ooh, well, it's between Waddle and Metcalf, in my opinion. And I'm going to say... Jeez, it's hard. Oh, it's... Oh, look. I guess you got to... It's, it's, it's a real balance, isn't it, between your favourite player or the one... I mean, Waddle, is he really guaranteed to have any, any sort of season? I guess he is. You don't, I guess you don't want two wide receivers on the same team. I'm going to go DK. Fuck it. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Only five more picks until my next one. So there's there's still a chance. There is still a chance. But I do need a tight end, I suppose. Unless we go back to running back and see who's available. What have we got? Ezekiel Elliott. Still on the board. Travis Etienne. Wouldn't mind having a Jacksonville Jag on my team, to be fair. I'd say those are the only two that really interest me at the moment. Uh, James Robinson, once again, wouldn't be, wouldn't be too displeased, forgot that one. It's looking alright, TB at the helm, Najee Harris, Tyreek Hill, DK Metcalf, we definitely need a tight end or a running back. So that is what we will do. Four picks to go my friends, four picks to go. And only one is automatically picked, which I really enjoy. Zeke is off the board. Also, you can queue players if you're completely sure about who you want. That's uh, pfft, that's just not me. That is just not me. I don't mind Kyle Pitts. I don't like. I don't mind Jalen Waddle. But I've got two wide receivers already. Although I can pick up a third, but it'd be probably advisable. Oh, here we go. On the clock. Would you believe? All right. So let's have a look. Running backs. What have we got? Travis Etienne. There's no guarantees there. I do need a second running back, though. Let's be fair. Um, wouldn't mind James Robinson. I'm pretty sure I picked him up last year. Let's have a look at tight ends. I need a... Kyle Pitts is still on the board. Um, 
George Kittle still on the board? I mean, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Um, AJ Brown, don't know too much about him. Jalen Waddle, I do want Jalen Waddle, and I want Kyle Pitts, but I do need a tight end, and I feel like... <sighs> God, this shit's hard. Um, what do you do? What do you do? What the hell do you do? You've got 30 seconds to go, and you've got to make a pick. And I go with... Um, well, I feel like I can probably get Jason Robinson, James Robinson, uh, later on in the in the list. And I'm pretty keen to get him, to be fair. So I'm going to say I'm going to say Kyle Pitts for now. I need a tight end. I've, I'm getting a tight end. I'm getting a... a an extremely impressive tight end, so let's go. Fuck it. George Kittle would have been nice. But it's okay. I'll back this guy. I'll back him. I mean, the team's looking pretty healthy at the moment, to be fair. So AJ Brown was picked automatically, I feel. Joe Burrow was picked automatically. Deontay Johnson, who is a... Wide receiver was picked automatically, and Jalen Waddle's off the list. So that's that's disappointing, but it's within you know it's it, it's in the sixth and seventh and eighth round that you really you've got a bit of um you've got a bit of leeway. You've got you've got a bit of um well really I've got absolutely no no idea what I'm talking about. But what what I do know is that there's seven more picks until my next one, and three of them are automatically generated. So let's have a look at who's still available. Um, all right, so Brandon Cooks, Travis Etienne, Brees Hall, Marquise Brown, Cortland Sutton, J.K. Dobbins, and the list goes on and on. But I am looking for a running back, so, um, well, I guess we go to running backs and, and see who's available. And I want someone from the Jags. Kareem Hunt is going to be sharing the reps with Nick Chubb. It's probably not a good idea to go with him. Cordero, Cordero Patterson actually became one of my all-time favorites during the top 100 list, so I wouldn't mind having him on my team. It'd give me an excuse to watch him. But James Robinson is looking good. He's looking good. He was injured last year. I feel like, you know, he's he's a player to look out for. So, uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Six more picks, guys. Shouldn't be too long. All right, a couple of autos done. Just like that. Just like that. Quintana is on the clock. And he has taken... Who did you take, my friend? You took Darren Waller. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so we're looking at running backs. Who's still available? Uh, right, so Etienne Jr.'s gone. I mean, he was out the whole entire season last year. Yet his projected um, points is actually higher than his teammate, James Robinson. I don't mind having James Robinson on my team. I definitely need another running back. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with someone I know. You know what I mean? Someone I know. Someone I know is coming back strong. Someone I know that, that was under probably the, the wrong coaching um team or at least the wrong head coach last year I remember a game where he only got five touches five touches and I think they passed the ball like 40 40 odd times something like that have I just pulled those stats out of my fucking ass maybe maybe but I am going to go with James Robinson because I need someone that's in the Jags I need someone at least that's in the Jags and he is right there I'll get him. Fuck. Jeez, that was nearly... <laughs> I nearly really... I nearly, I nearly screwed that one up. But we've, we've got six seconds. They think I'm in automation, but I'm not. I'm taking James Robinson. Cheers, guys. Appreciate it. All right, so there we are. Stacked. Tom Brady at the helm. Najee Harris, James Robinson, Tyreek Hill, DK Metcalf, and Kyle Pitts. Now, if that's not a fucking... <laughs> if that ain't a stacked fantasy team, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Either way, now we go onto our flex player, we go onto our defensive team, our kicker, and the bench, which should be interesting. So let's have a look if anyone's actually picked up a kicker yet. You're kidding. Fair enough. What about defense? No, no one. 
I suppose I'm just going to pick along the lines that I, you know, of the. I'm, I guess I'm just going to pick along the lines that I did last year, really, which is basically the team that I enjoy watching. So, uh, actually, Tampa Bay wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. So if Tampa Bay's available, I'll go with them. But either way, Flex. Flex is, is basically between all positions. Is that right? And if you need a Flex player on the field, well, I'm going to need to pick up another player. So... What have we here? George Kittle was still available. Interesting. No one cares about their tight end. Hunter Renfro. All right, you know what? I'm going with Hunter Renfro. <laughs> Mr. Third Down. I've got to go with Hunter Renfro. He's going to ball out this year. Better fucking execution. Better fucking execution, I tell you what. Hunter Renfro, do we do it? Oh... Uh, George Kittle's taken. All right. Do we? I mean, do you go running back? Do you go wide receiver? I'm going to go Hunter Renfro, man. I reckon this is his season. I'm going to back him. Call Daryl Patterson. I wouldn't mind him. I might grab him for the bench. But for now, I reckon it wouldn't be a bad idea to pick up the big man, Hunter Renfro. I've done it. He's on my team. Let's go. I mean, kickers are there or thereabouts. You know, defence don't really earn you too many points. In fact, they could, well, lose you points, which is exactly what happened last year, to be fair. I forgot about that. I lost a round after my defence was in the negative. I thought, look, this 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 round is in the bag. It has to be. I'm, a, I'm up. I'm up. And every single one of their picks... Um, every single one, you know, every single person on their team had, had played. And I'm up. But no. No, that's no guarantee. The defence could have an absolute fucking meltdown and ruin it for you. And that's exactly what happened. Either way, we continue. Hunter Renfro is the flex player. Now, I like that. I do. Obviously, we've got buys. We've got buys. The first buy is... In the sixth round with Hunter Renfro, so that must be the Raiders buy. The next one's in the ninth round, Najee Harris. And I've got four buys in week 11. That's something to consider. That That's certainly something to consider. Kyle Pitts has got a buy in week 14. Four buys in week 11. Fuck. What do you do there? Well, it looks as if I'm going to need at least one wide receiver, at least one running back, and at least one quarterback on the bench. So uh, I suppose we'll get into that, and maybe I should think about getting them now. At least a wide receiver, because both of my starting wide receivers are having a bye in week 11. All right, so the next the next position I'm going to go for is a wide receiver. Get him on the bench. Know what I mean? Jarvis Landry, going to the Saints. I reckon he's going to ball out. Big um, Sideshow Rob, a.k.a. Robbie Anderson, is still on the list. I wouldn't mind him. But I will, at this point, go with Jarvis Landry. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. He's going to play... He's going to have a huge role. He's going to have a, a fucking massive role. But what that means is that in week 11, he's also going to have a bye. Which just doesn't work, does it? Unfortunately. That's really unfortunate. I'd love to have him on my team. But I'm not going to. We're going to go with... Um, well, I'm on the clock, guys. I'm on the clock, officially. Devonta Smith. The old uh, first wide receiver to win the Heisman in, geez, what was it, 30 years? Um, all right, no, we don't want drafted players. Michael Thomas. <laughs> Michael Thomas, Christian Kirk. Juju Smith-Schuster, Adam Thielen, um, Tyler Lockett, Devontae Smith. I wouldn't mind Devonta Smith on on the bench. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like he's going to come into his own this year. Um, I definitely need a wide receiver next. I need a decent one to put on if one of mine get injured, but also during that bye week. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with a player that you know I am interested to see play. 
I'm interested. I mean, he, he won the fucking Heisman, and with that being said, guys, I'm going to Vonta Smith. Don't at me, guys. Don't at me. I know he's only 180 pounds dripping wet, but he'll do some damage. He'll do some damage. He'll work out the cadence, and he'll be fine. Right, the team's really coming together now. But I do need another running back, at the very least. But I also need another wide receiver, so let's... I'm on the clock already! Holy shit, that came around quick. Um... Right, another wide receiver. It's probably well. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need another one for for week eleven. I mean, there are the waiver wires and all that kind of thing. But I reckon I reckon a, a replacement running back would be smart because there is a thing called injuries. Let's see who's available. Uh, absolutely sweet fuck all. But I, I want to give the. You know what? I'm gonna get. This feels good to me. This feels good to me to pick up Cordero Patterson, and I'm gonna do it. Let's go, boy. This is your year. This is your year. Really enjoyed his um, his entries on the top 100 list. And really, that's the only reason why I know who he is, and that's the only reason why I've picked him. So, there you go. The benefits of the top 100 list are never-ending. I'm feeling okay. What have we got next? I've got a replacement running back, replacement wide receiver... I'm going to need another wide receiver, to be fair. And with that in mind, let's have a look who's available. Rashad Bateman, Drake London, Elijah Moore, Kadarius Tony. That's a name I recognise. Robert Woods, DeAndre... What is SSS? SS suspended! Oh, fuck, me dead. Oh, no. Otherwise, I would have picked him up, for sure. But if he's on my bench... DeAndre Hopkins, I'm going to have to look that up. I reckon I'm going to stick him on my bench. In May, he was handed a six-game suspension. All right. Six games? You know what? Fuck it. I'm putting him on my bench. I reckon that's a really good idea, to be fair. What do you guys think? Not that you're here to tell me. But I reckon that's, I reckon that's all right. That's okay. We've got seven picks to go. I'm not going to queue him. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I'll see you back here shortly. Jeez, he's taking his time, isn't he? Oh, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Can we have a look at his... Oh, we can have a look at his team too. What have we got? Dak Prescott, Kamara, Fournette. You bastard. Higgins, Moore, Ertz, Etienne. I like my team so much more. I must admit, I, I, I love my team. Next on the list with pick number 92 is Hanson. Jackson, Henry, Sanders, Adams, Allen, Godert, Godwin. Oh, I, I like mine too. He's taking the Buccaneers defense, which is the one that I was looking at. He's on the clock. I don't know who's he going to pick. Probably not a kicker, I, w I would assume. Um, Cook, Connor, Jefferson, Lamb, Hawkinson, Waddle. Jeez. Jeez, I tell you what. Listen to this one. Brady, Harris, Robinson, Hill, Metcalf, Pitts, Renfro, Devonta Smith, Cordero Patterson, and I'm going to need, I'm going to need another wide receiver pretty shortly. Uh, do we do it now? I reckon we do it now. Kadarius, Tony, no, no, we, we've, yeah, like I say, I mean, I've, Jeez, my brain must be all over the place at the moment because I completely forgot what, who my pick was. But uh, I'm going to back myself and I'm going to go with DeAndre Hopkins. I'm, I'm glad he's still there, to be fair. I'm glad he's still there. So thank you. Thank you, mate. And um, let's move on. Kicker and defense, I mean, they can really... It's there or thereabouts, really, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to get a top 10 defense or a top 10 kicker, regardless um, of, of when you pick them, that's that's good enough for me. Either way, we do need a replacement tight end. So let's have a look at that. Is there anyone that I actually recognise? 
I got Noah Fant last year, would you believe? David Njoku, I don't mind him. I don't mind him at all. I feel like he's a starter, which means a lot, to be fair. David Njoku, I feel like I feel like that's a name I wouldn't mind picking. Um, Cameron Brait is a name I recognise, but he certainly he's not going to... Taysom Hill is listed as a tight end. <laughs> isn't he a fucking... Isn't he a quarterback? He is. Either way, uh, let's just see what's up. I'm on the clock in five picks, so... um. Well, you never know what's going to happen, do you? Wouldn't well, I wouldn't mind a bit of David and Joku to be fair. I do need one replacement tight end, but that's not until week number fourteen. So it's like, what do you do? Well, I'm on the clock once again. Let's have a look. David and Joku. Let's hang on. Bit of bit of background research. Cleveland Browns starting tight end. Who is it? Okay, he's starting. I like that. And with that in mind, let's draft him. Fuck it. Got no time to, to, to think about these things, you know what I mean? No time at all. I probably, you know, defense kicker, really? I mean, I... I, like I said, you're you're guaranteed to get at least one of the top ten out of 32 teams. And with that in mind, I really I couldn't give a shit about the defence or kicker, to be honest. Um, I mean, what can they get you? Six points, ten points at most. Let's see who has picked a kicker or who what kickers are off the. Yeah, look, look at that. Absolutely not. No, sorry guys, my bad. They have drafted Justin Tucker, which I'm not surprised. Even. McPherson, who was the first kicker to be drafted, probably one of the favourite players of uh, of a um, of a a team here, because he was he was picked in like the fourth round. Would you believe? Um, Defence. What do we got? Bills and Buccaneers and Patriots. Gotcha. Who we got in the in the uh, the, the the running back front? Antonio Gibson, Tony Pollard, AJ Dillon. Now that's an interesting name. 250 odd pounds. Steamroller for the Green Bay Packers. Michael Carter, Melvin Gordon the third. So he's still going, is he? Anaheim Hines, Kenneth Walker, James Cook. All right. We've got nine picks until I'm on the clock. So we've got time. Kadarius Tony. I mean, he's looking. He's definitely. Um, He's one of the most impressive players I've ever watched, actually. I've never seen him play. I don't know if he can transition that college football highlights into the big leagues. Um, Chase Claypool, that's always a name that's thrown around the traps. DJ Chark. Well, if you were still at the Jaguars, maybe I would have given you the time of day, but not today. Jarvis Landry. I'm going to queue him. I'm going to queue him. Actually, no, we don't do queues around here. We don't do cues, but if he's still available in the seven picks, I'm going to grab him. And we've got three auto cues. Interestingly enough, within the next six picks, at which time I will be on the clock. So let's uh, let's just wait patiently, bring the heart rate down, and see what's up. I don't mind this team though. I don't mind this team whatsoever. Who has gone off the list? All right, so Melvin Gordon, he's gone. Daniel Carson, Tyler Board, Kadarius Tony, Jarvis Landry. You bastard! You absolute bastard! That is not fair. That is not fair. So that's obviously a um, a, a non-automated pick, uh, being that he's he's down the down the list somewhat. Fucking. fucking, fucking, fucking. Let's calm it down. Let's get the heart rate down. We've got a minute to go. A minute to go. And I need... I'm going to say I definitely need... Well... Another running back would be nice. AJ Dillon. Now, who is the Green Bay Packers starting running back? It's... uh, Actually, I don't even need to look at that. It's... um, Fuck. Who was it? 
Aaron Jones, yeah. AJ Dillon's the backup. Um, how many touches is he going to get? You never know, do you? I mean, these are only bench players, right? I wouldn't mind putting him in, especially if Aaron Jones gets injured. So I think, at this point, I do need another running back, and I'm going to go with... I'm, I'm going to go with AJ Dillon. Why not? Chuck him on the bench, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I mean, if James Robinson gets injured, well, we'll chuck him, chuck him in. Cordell, pa Cordell, Cordell Patterson is... Um, I guess you just got to look for the, the bye weeks, but at the end of the day, ah, fuck it. You can sort it out later. As long as you've got the team that you're, that you're solid on. You know what I mean? If, as long as you've got replacements. Uh, well, you can pick up an extra player later on. Either way, I'm on the clock in two picks. And I'm going to say, I've got a replacement tight end, I've got two replacement running backs, two replacement wide receivers. I might even look for a replacement quarterback. Let's have a wee look. Baker Mayfield. Would you believe? Kirk Cousins. Trevor Lawrence. Now, now that was my replacement last year. Um, Tua Tungavailoa. He's got two absolute fucking dynamite wide receivers out there. I might go with him. Yeah, I'm going to go with him. He's got the most impressive receiver core at the moment, and I'm going to say that oh Deshaun Watson's still there but he's out for what is it nine games either way I'm not going to think too much about it I'm going to go to a tongue of Iloa. replacement QB right those are all my replacements currently so I'm going to say let's look for a, a kicker Harrison Butker he sounds pretty good he is pretty good and being that he's on the Kansas City Chiefs, he's going to kick a fair few extra points. So I'm going to go with him. But I do need to wait five picks. If you guys are still here, respect. Thank you. We're in uh, round 14 of 16, and it's been an absolute blast. Thank you so much for being here. Or do we go defense? Nah. I'm not too worried about defense, man. <laughs> I never have been, never will be. Um, nah, they don't bring too much to the table, to be honest. No, we won't do that. We'll go with the kicker. I'll get, I'll get the kicker I want, which is Harrison Butker. But if we look down the list, what have we got? Matt Prater, Tyler Bass, Graham Kano, Greg Joseph, Jake Elliott, Robbie Gould, Ryan Suckup. Uh, Mason Crosby, that was my kicker last year, and he missed a fair few, to be honest. So I'm going to go back up the list, I'm going to get a decent one, and I'm going to go Harrison Butker. And look, with the way my luck's been going, he's going to be taken right now. He's going to slip right through my fingers, at the hands of Quintana. Like the video now and give me some good luck. Well, he's still available, and I'm going to grab him. Harrison Butker, you're coming home, mate. You're coming home. Right, so we've got one bench player and one defense. All right, so who's uh, all positions? What have we got? We won't show drafted. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Anaheim Hines. Basically, you just want a starter that's on the bench that you can bring on through injury, through, you know, what have you. Um, who's always there or thereabouts and, 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 and able to step up when it matters, right? That's all you need. That's all you need. So who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? I wouldn't mind a player that I actually know. Do I, need a, do I need a third quarterback? Absolutely not. No, I don't. I don't need a third quarterback. But I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind actually having a vested interest. I wouldn't mind actually knowing the player. You know what I mean? So with that in mind, with that in mind, I have absolutely no idea who to pick. <laughs> Mark Ingram. Uh, who's the starting running back for... I mean, he's on the bench. It doesn't really matter. All right, I'm going to go with the player that I actually like the most. Okay, so we're going to go... What are we going to do here? Um, shit. Let's go by running back. No, actually, let's go wide receiver. 
Sideshow Rob, I mean, I love to give him shit with his, about his haircut, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind him being on the team. I mean, maybe that would give me an excuse to actually start backing the guy rather than just giving him shit. So I suppose at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Sideshow Rob. <laughs> now we just need a defense. I'm going to pick up a kicker through the waiver for the, the week that my kicker is off, which will be week eight. So that'll be a... That'll be... That'll be an easy pickup. I know it will be. It's fine. We've got one pick left. One pick left, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. It's been um, 50 minutes of the absolute best. And the defences that are still available are... And we'll show who's been taken. The Bills, Packers, Saints, Bucks, Ravens, and 49ers. So we've got Cowboys, Colts, Steelers, Dolphins, Chargers, Commanders, Browns, Eagles, Bengals. All right, so who's my basically who's my favorite... Who's my favourite team? I'm going to go the Rams. If they're still available, I'm going to go the Rams. I'm going to go the Rams. Yeah. I mean, put... Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey on the same team. And I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to back them. Back them to the hills. So... I'm going to back them. They, they, they may only be projected to, to score 83.2 points the entire season, whereas the top defense, the Bills, were projected to score almost double with 145. But I'm still going to go with them. I'm still going to go with them. The, 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 the difference between projected totals of the Colts with 109 and the Rams with 83.2, really, over the course of 16, 17 weeks, I couldn't give a shit. I'm going to go with the Rams. And with that in mind... I've still got five picks to wait. Two more picks, guys. Quintana, you're the only one with the ability to take this team away from me. Will you do it? I wouldn't be surprised if you did. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Colts defense. Well, there's there's, there's one guy on the on the offense that I'm more interested about, being Jonathan Taylor. But it's okay. I'm on the clock, and would you believe? He's gone with Tyler Bass, so I'm going to go with the Rams, and that is going to complete my team. That's going to complete my roster. That's going to complete my draft. My roster is now full, and you've completed your draft. Fantastic. Tom Brady, Najee Harris, Jason Robinson, Tyreek Hill, DK Metcalf, Kyle Pitts, Hunter Renfro, Rams on defense, Harrison Butker, kicking the goals, De Devontae Smith, Cordero Patterson, DeAndre Hopkins, David Njoku, AJ Dillon, Tua Tungavailoa, and Robbie Sideshow Rob Anderson. Fan fucking tastic. That's incredible. Brilliant. Two more picks to go. 160 picks total. 10 people in the league. 16 picks each. Boom. Can't wait to play. Let's finish this off. Alfaro, what do you got? Surely it's a defense. Surely it's a defense. Either way. This has been really fun. I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, yeah, just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time. This is my starting team. No one's going to buy in week one. All good. Your draft is complete. Go to my team. All right. Sweet. Who are we versing? I'm versing Team Walker in week one. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look who you've got. Team Walker. Team Walker. Oh, okay, so all right, so yeah, we've got some uh, some comparisons here between players. Tom Brady against Kyler Murray. I'm confident. Najee Harris against Joe Mixon. Could be a good one. Robinson against Barkley. Now Barkley was a a, 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 a player I really wanted to get. But either way, Hill against Cup. Now that's going to be a matchup for the ages. DK Metcalf against Stefan Diggs. I feel confident. I must admit, but Stefan Diggs does score, you know, 100 yards with ease. So Metcalf's going to have to get targets. And he is playing with a new quarterback. Either way, Kyle Pitts versus Darren Waller. That's that's a good one. Renfro versus AJ Brown. Rams versus the 49ers. And Butker versus Tyler Bass. Okay. Should be interesting. They are projected to win by a pretty steep margin. But you know what? I'm not I'm no, no. No, we don't we don't look at that. 
we don't pay attention to that because anything can happen in the world of football it's a game of inches it's a game of fantasy and uh i'm looking forward to it guys so thank you once again for coming through i might actually replace call daryl patterson with james robinson i must admit like what have we got here? So it's not out of the question to actually put a bench player on to start. To be fair, but I'm going to back. I'm going to back my guy James Robinson. I'm going to keep him on there. Devonte Smith is an interesting prospect, but we do have Hill and Metcalf on the field. So either way, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you after week one, and I'll see you for the first game of the season. Bills vs Rams, I'll be here. This video is going to be dropped. It's going to be premiered probably a couple of hours before that game. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you when I see you for the first game of the season. Let's fucking go. Can't wait. Peace out.